The Stabian Baths are an ancient Roman bathing complex in Pompeii, Italy, the oldest and the largest of the five public baths in the city. Their original construction dates back to CA 125 BC, making them one of the oldest bathing complexes known from the ancient world. They were remodeled and enlarged many times up to the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD. The Stabian Baths are located off the intersection of two main streets in Pompeii, the Via della Vendanza to the south and the Via Stabiana to the east, the latter gives them their modern name. On the west side, the baths are bordered by the Vicolo del Lupinari, and to the north by the house of P. Vidia Syracus. As was typical of ancient Roman bathhouses, the facilities were divided by banks. The main entrance was from the Via della Vendanza, through a vestibule, 1, into the palestra, 2, a large open-air exercise ground. A row of shops fronted the street. On the right-hand side of the palestra was a colonnade which screened the entrance to the men's bathing chambers, the apodeterium, changing room, 25, followed by the frigidarium, cold room, 22, tepidarium, warm room, 23, and caldarium, hot room, 21. These chambers were rectangular, barrel vaulted, and parallel to one another. The arrangement is known as the single axis row type, the most common model for baths adopted all over the Roman world. The baths were first constructed CA 125 BC. A sundial found on the site, with an inscription in Oscan, commemorates the magistrate who had the first bath building constructed using fines levied by the local administration. Even before the construction of this building, the site was used primarily as a palestra, the trapezoidal shape of the palestra existed as far back as the 4th century BC. There were also small chambers containing hip baths to the north during this early period. By the time Pompeii became a Roman colony in 80 BC, the Stabian Baths were already a sizable building occupying half a city block. The building contained two sets of bath chambers, a latrine, and the palestra. Water was drawn from a well and stored in a reservoir on the roof. An inscription records that the baths were extended by the Duoviri, city magistrates, Caius Iulius and Publius Aninius after the establishment of the colony. They renovated the palestra and added two new chambers, a laconicum, dry sweating room, and a destructarium, room for scraping the body clean with strigils. The work having been undertaken by the Duoviri suggests that the Stabian baths were publicly owned. The Laconicum is believed to have later been converted into the Frigidarium of the men's section, but the Destructarium has not been identified. Running water was supplied to the baths for the first time around the turn of the 1st century AD, when they were connected to the city's aqueduct. It was likely around this time that a house to the west of the palestra was demolished to make room for an outdoor swimming pool, natatio, ball court, a second changing room, and wings of rooms on either side which were either loggias or contained shallow pools. The shallow pools would have been used by patrons to wash their feet before they entered the swimming pool. Open rooms, probably exedry, were added to the north wing of the baths facing onto the palestra. The Stabian baths were damaged in the AD 62 Pompeii earthquake, but were rebuilt, enlarged and remodeled to make them even more luxurious than before. The seismic activity in the area rendered the baths especially vulnerable to damage, they appear to have been at least partially closed and undergoing a general repair slash remodel when the eruption of Vesuvius took place in 79. So that was all for today's video, let us know what you think about it in the comments section, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. With that said, we will see you next time, until then, take care!